Okay, so let's talk about this. Uh, in this video, I want to start by looking at the config. So let's open up our config file. And uh, right now it's kind of just bare bones. And you can see that in our config, we have an initial messages property. And we're using the create chatbot message from uh, this package to create the um, initial mess message that is displayed right here. So that's what that does. Now, there are several things that we can do with our config. And if we jump over to uh, the documentation and scroll a little bit down, uh, we can see that we have an example config on the left hand side here that has some more properties. And uh, we also, if we scroll down here, we can go to a gist that has all configurable properties. So I want to open that up and show you guys a little bit. So there are several things we can do. If we uh, change the bot name property, then we'll be able to change the name of our bot. And if you go back to the web page, uh, you can see that the bot name is displayed at the top in the header here. So let's go ahead and start by changing that. And we'll call this crazy bot. So now we have a bot that's named crazy bot. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the other properties. All right, so as you can see here, we have a state object. Now this object you can use to inject state into the chatbot state. So let's say that you want to have some kind of piece of state that you want to manipulate through your widgets or components, you can put it in this state object here. So we're gonna take a look at that later uh, when we do data fetching and uh, custom components or widgets. But for now, just know that if you define state here, it will kind of get merged in with the uh, chatbot state and you can manipulate it. Then we have a, a object with custom components. Now custom components allows you to replace uh, some of the detail, default uh, stock components that the chatbot comes with. So you can, right now, uh, we support uh, adding or replacing the bot avatar and the bot chat message and the user avatar and the user chat message. So if we go back here uh, and we write something, then you can change out uh, this component right here, which is the bot avatar. And this component right here is the bot chat message. And then you can also do the same uh, with the user avatar and the user chat message, if you so choose. And you do that by defining a property in the custom components object that's named bot avatar, if you want to change the bot's avatar. And you give it a function that returns a React component. So let's try that out and see if we can make that happen. So uh, let's head back to our editor and we'll create a source components and bot avatar. And uh, we'll create a bot avatar CSS and inside of bot avatar .jsx, we'll do a functional component just defining the component here and exporting it down here and we can put our 
crazy bot avatar here. And let's import bot avatar CSS. All right. So I'm just going to put a few CSS properties in here. just to make it look a little bit like an avatar. Uh, okay, we might have to do some adjustments, but we'll see. So let's head over to the config now. And we'll add a property called custom components. And it's going to be an object. And inside of custom components, we're going to take bot avatar, the property, and we're going to assign a function that takes props and returns a react component. And we want that react component to be this component that we just made. and we want to spread out the props. So if we save that now, and we head back to the browser and our app, of course. So uh, rookie mistake, if we are using React, even just like this, we need to have React in scope. So we need to import React from React up here. And that should take care of it. Still have an error in bot avatar JSX. See, yeah, we need to return this. And that should be it, hopefully. So now we have our custom avatar, but it's invisible. So let's take a look at what we can do. Background, color, purple. This is gonna look ugly. Mm-hmm. Increase that, give it a margin right. Five pixels and let's just do a C. Hmm. Better. Gen right. Okay. It's not the most pretty avatar in the world. But uh, it shows that you can kind of like experiment a little bit and swap out the components and kind of create the look and, look and feel that you want. Um, now, we might want to, if we want a purple avatar, we might want to change the color of the text message as well. And if you don't want to change out the entire component, which you can, you can just manipulate some properties in the config that allows you to to um, change the color of certain things in the bot. So down here we have a custom styles property which allows you to uh, alter the bot message box and the, the chat button background. So let's uh, copy that 
and go back to our editor. And in the config, we'll add this under the custom component. And let's say purple and purple. And yeah, you can see that we've been able to change the chatbot message color and uh, the send button down here. So you can customize that as well if you so choose. Now, I think we've been through most of these um, properties in the config. Uh, widgets, we'll do an entire episode of that because uh, it's slightly more complicated. But for now, I think that's all you need to know about the config. So thanks for tuning in. And in the next episode, we'll take a look at the message parser and then we'll do one on the action provider.